Hi, and welcome to Channel 2 Action News. I'm Tay Marie. And I'm Will Han. Here are this week's top stories. Let's take a moment to talk about China. China is currently hosting the APAC Summit, which is where foreign dignities go to China and talk about political and economic issues. But on the other hand, China's air pollution is so bad that they have to virtually shut down their whole economy. From hospitals to steel mills, you can't even drive your car on some days. I think that we should just take a minute here and think about how clean our air is in Santa Barbara. Hammerhead sharks normally are seen in the area of southern Baja, California. However, in some very rare cases, now being seen around the Channel Islands. Earlier this week, four men were spearfishing near the Anacapa Island when they spotted an eight-foot-long hammerhead shark swimming around their boat. Forrest Galante and his friend, two of the members from the boat, decided not only to jump in, but to swim with the shark too. In a matter of minutes, the shark charged towards them and started to bite. Luckily, before any injuries were sustained, they had returned to the boat. Chris Lowe of Cal State Long Beach's Shark Lab said that a developing El Nino was bringing the hammerheads, whale sharks, and other animals up from the southern Baja, California area because of the warmer water conditions. And now let's head on over to Counselor's Corner. SBCC spring schedules are on the SBCC website. Go to the counseling office for the paperwork. All grades uh, can take classes at SBCC. No school November 24th to 28th, Thanksgiving week. Miss the SBCC uh, College Fair? Be sure to go to the National College Fair. November 8th, uh, Monday, April 20th in Ventura. Questions about CSF and NHS? Contact Elaine Arugio uh, at eArugio at SB, uh, SDK, K through 12org Thanks, Counselor's Corner. Let's toss on over to ASB. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. I'm Cam. And I'm Celine. And, and this, this is, is ASB. ASB. Thanks for everyone who participated in the blood drive. And if you want to keep the teachers hairy, be sure to keep on throwing them coins in the teachers' jars. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. I'm Cam. I'm Celine. And, and this, this has been ASB. Back to you in the studio. Now let's watch some commercials. My name is Spencer Barr, and I'm the College and Career Counselor here at Santa Barbara High School. Um, this is my office, the College and Career Center. I'm here in the mornings. Just if you're a freshman and sophomore, please stop by, say hi. Uh, let me know how I can help you. Today's primary source document deals with internment. William, would you please begin reading? Okay. Uh, today, children often gather to play their uh, nosy... I think that's noisy, William. Uh, uh, nose, noisy yeah. games on the, the front stone steps. How would you like it if school was like this for you every single day? This guy's arriving late. There's a tardy sweep today. You know you're late? Sir, just come over here with us. So, because you're late, we're going to have to write you up Wait, for detention. Uh, Do you have a hall pass? Uh, yeah, um, it's like right there. Uh. We're going in. No, he's in here. Do you know that TVs use two and a half kilowatts per hour? So? 
cool, don't you know that if you just stuck to one appliance at a time, you'd save a ton of energy and money? Let's go outside. The Avid classes are selling Don's gear. You still have this weekend to purchase anything from the catalogs. Go to room 204 or room 22 to get your gear now. Find an Avid student to get more information. Don't miss out. Bear. Hey, Bear. Wake up. Why? Sorry. You have to get out of here. Shoot. Oh, God. Wait up there. Come on. Come on, Nice commercials, guys. Let's go to politics. My name is David Zabias, and this is Political Corner. As I covered last week, the midterm elections displayed a great win for the Republicans. They were able to take eight seats in the Senate, four governor positions, and a multitude of House of Representatives seats. This election just continues with the common trend of Republicans winning midterms and Democrats winning general elections. Republican Senators Mitch McConnell and Ted Cruz, however, have blamed President Obama for the astounding loss by Democrats this election when actually there are many more factors. The main issue currently with the United States electoral system is the predictable flipping of power from the Democrats to the Republicans and back again every single election without any other choice for voters due to our two-party system. This never-ending cycle promotes inefficiency in the federal government because of the division of the branches of government. Hopefully in the future there will be a much better system. Thank you. Now let's go on over to sports. Morning, Central Rye. I'm Brent Pez. And I'm Alexandra. And this is your week's sports week. <laughs> Football took a tough loss against us on last week. Check out some of these highlights. Great sports, Dons. Thanks for watching Channel 2 Action News as always. I'm Will Hahn. And I'm Tay Marie. Special shout out to Colin, Congo, and Holden. See you next week, Santa Barbara High. Have a great weekend.